Hello, good day. This is Mark Bucker again. Short video on power of PowerShell. And today I want to discuss something about objects and comparing them. So for instance, uh, let's create first object. Uh, call it object one. And we stick all the processes inside of that. Okay. And now we have an object one with all the processes. Okay. Uh, let me close these windows. Let me run that again. So we have a fresh one. Now I start the notepad. Right. I leave it open. And we're going to do this again. I now call it object two. And object two should now contain this extra process, right? So if we now go to object two, that should contain a process notepad. Uh, doesn't matter for now, we don't need to search it. We can do that, of course, you see it, it's here. But the nice part of the compare object is that you can uh, see the differences between them. So you can do a compare object, and then you do like the, the referencing object. So that was the first one, object one. And you do like the differencing object, that will be object two, object two. And then let's see what we get. Okay, then we get some stuff back. We have like an input object, right? And that's that's where the notepad is inside. So if we stick that like, and we do like the input object. So then we get the differences back. So you had like object one that contains a lot of stuff, you know, object one and object two. And then you need to seek the differences between them. It's pretty easy to create an object from all those processes, change it, then get the process again. So you have like a new one, like Notepad Extra. Then you compare those objects, and you see the differences. And we can do it again, for instance, we can do this. We launch another Notepad and we store it again in Object 3, for instance. So we launch another Notepad there. We get all the processes again. Right, so object three now contains three notepad processes, should contain that at least, you see, or two, sorry. Of course, it was only one, now it's two. And if we now compare object one to object three, for instance, we should see two differences, right? It's two differences, notepad. And if I compare to the second one, it should hold one difference, you see? Um, yeah, you can use it this with other content as well. You know, you can, for instance, you you created an output file somewhere, and you import that output file, and uh, a day later you import it again. You know, and then you can notice differences. Perhaps you know you, you dump all the services of a system, and all of a sudden it starts behaving weird, and then you see in the history, for instance, that uh, that the servers has changed, and you can do that pretty easily with the compare object. I'm not sure if everybody knows it's in PowerShell, but it's there. It's pretty powerful. It's all about objects. So compare them and you can use those differences at your uh, advantage, I guess, because I'm using this uh, sometimes in scripts. It can be very handy for a comparison. Um, yeah, that was it. Pretty simple demo on how to use compare object in PowerShell. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.